Shalom everybody, greetings from Jerusalem Jane. I had just started recording a video and then I got a call from one of the big hospitals here in Jerusalem who actually wants to see me tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Let me just get back to that a little bit later. Today is a special day. Today is the night of broken glass. Today is what's called Kristallnacht. This is what initially started the Holocaust. The Nazis were rounding up hundreds of Jews and murdering them. They were destroying thousands of synagogues, thousands of private homes, and thousands of uh, businesses in Nazi Germany. It's so easy for us to say, never again. It's so easy to say, we will not forget. Look what's happening in Israel. Today, this nation, this homeland for the Jewish people is being labeled as an apartheid state, as occupying a country, a fictitious country that never existed. But because that lie has been told so many times, the Palestinians are justifying the murder the slaughter of Jewish grandmothers of children because the Jews stole our lands. Several years ago, I was living in a city outside of Jerusalem and one Saturday night after Shabbat, I was out walking, it was a beautiful night and I came across a young man and I just said Shalom and we started talking and as he hear my accent, he's saying, where are you from, what are you doing here? This was before I became Jerusalem Jane and I just said, hey, I am, um, I said goodbye to family and friends in Denmark. I came here all alone by myself on a tourist visa because I have been watching mainstream media in Europe spewing lies about your nation. And I know that when I open my Bible, when I open this precious book that's the foundation of my life, I am reading the history of Israel. And I know the lies of occupation. I know the lies of apartheid state how can i be quiet so i came here just one woman one small voice all by myself with one suitcases trying to just play a little part this young guy teared up and he says normally i don't get emotional jane but and he got a lump in his throat and he says thank you because normally people are coming against my nation my grandfather and my father was part of a special unit in the IDF. I cannot wait to be old enough to join the family of the IDF and to, to defend my people. Thank you, Jane, for what you are doing. And I said, it is my absolute pleasure. If Israel didn't have this mighty nation, our army, this nation wouldn't be here today. Israel is surrounded by enemies. Israel is surrounded by enemies within. And we know Iran is working around the clock to to develop that nuclear bomb that they want to wipe Israel off the face of the earth. So what are you doing about it? Are you playing your part in all of this? Because when you open your Bible, you're reading the history of Israel. And it is our obligation to come against the lies of occupation. The lies that is coming against this being apartheid state, when this is the only democracy in the Middle East. Me and my house will serve the Lord. I have dedicated my life through all the years that I have been here in Israel. Just one, one woman doing everything by myself. I don't have a staff. I don't have an organization behind me. I don't have a salary. I never made one dollar of any video, of any blog, of anything that I have written or recorded. I am doing everything on a volunteer basis all by myself, in my mid-40s, not having a strong husband standing by my side, receiving death threats and tons of criticism from people around the world because they feel I am not saying what they want me to say or what they want to hear. I am trying to fulfill what I believe God has called me to do and to speak the truth about this great country. Allow me to end this video because I am actually heading out the door to physiotherapy. Um, those of you who have been following me for a long time, you know how I have had, uh, it has been difficult for me over the last four years. The entire time I have been in this apartment, there has been two surgeries, there has been a broken ankle and wheelchair crutches, one broken foot, a dental malpractice case, sitting here making video with a proud advocate for Israel, all of a sudden, I was the one who had to report that he was brutally murdered in a terror attack. I'm surrounded by the biggest construction sites, so there's never peace. Day or night, there's never peace. 
So I have actually been wanting to move out of this apartment because it is simply not healthy for me to be here. All the memories, the traumas, the tears. I've been trying to get away from here for a year and a half. Six weeks from now, I will be homeless. I have to leave this apartment January 1st. Every morning when I wake up, I'm saying, wow, that was one last night of sleeping in this bed. It is one day closer to moving out to the new apartment that I believe God has chosen for me. So I can get out of this, close this chapter, move into a new chapter and breathe in a place that doesn't have all of these memories and trauma and tears. God gave me a ram of words uh, that I'm standing on into this, saying that um, he has given me the early rain for vindication. He will compensate me for the years the locusts have eaten. And that is what I'm staying on. And I have been in prayer every day just saying, Father, this is my time of restitution, of vindication. You are going to restore to me everything the locusts have stolen from me. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank those people who is bringing this to pass. Because how does God vindicate me? How does God uh, restore me through other people? Through people who says, Jane, I am willing to be a tool. I am willing to sow a seed into your voice. I have benefited from you speaking the truth about Israel. I have knowledge about Israel because of you. I have been blessed uh, because of your work and your voice. So for those of you who have sent financial blessing or the GoFundMe page that is telling my story on the tax deductible donation in America or the PayPal, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You are bringing this into life. You are helping me being vindicated, being restored what the locals said for me because you are stepping out and saying, God, use me to bless Jane. There's a long way to go. I need a lot more finances in order to be able to move into that new apartment. No salary from anyone through the entire time I have been here. Thank you for lifting my hands for such a time as this to get out of this apartment, which I desperately need. The suitcases are behind me. The packing has slowly, slowly begun because like, I, you know, my body is a bit weak. And they just called me now from Sarah Sedek Hospital saying, Jane, we just got a cancellation. Can you be here tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for the MRI that I need of my right knee? I might have injuries. I might have a weak body. But God is restoring and God is vindicating. And as long as I have a pulse, God has a plan and a purpose for me. Thank you for lifting my hands for such a time as this. May God bless you richly. Mwah. Love from Jerusalem, Jane. Bye.